Hi all, um, we're going to conduct a pop-off pressure test for the two WB27 carburetors uh, and this carburetor uh, is uh, from the distributor and it is uh, as received with a pop-off pressure of between 12 and 14 and a reset pressure of uh, 7 to 9 psi and this one is where we stretch the spring if you can see the spring there we stretch that spring to make it harder to compress to open that needle valve right there so this is the 23 uh, to 24 pop-off and this is 12 to 14 so let's uh, conduct a test here is our gauge here's our pop-off pressure gauge now there's a little bit of variation in the pop-off pressure because you're supposed to really be doing this with a uh, wet internal there should be some gasoline in there so let's look at that okay Those are around 10. And maybe it's coming a little bit less than 10. So it's a, I would say 9. Let's do that again. So it's around 9. Okay, let's do now the, if you can see when you press the lever, oh, I should do that again. When you press the lever, you relieve the pressure, so that would indicate gas flow. All right. As I said, there is a little bit of variation. So the reset in this case is around 15 PSI. Okay, well, that uh, at least shows uh, the, uh, the two carburetors that we'll be working on. And I will be adjusting, I will be adjusting the height. Right now it's, it's, it's high, so if you notice, this is uh, uh, 46 thousandths uh, deep and it's for the WB as you notice here there's a small WB so all WB engines you could use this fixture for all WB engines so the way you adjust it is you hold that down and with a small screwdriver you bend you bend that tip Let's see how we did. Still, still high. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're right around there. And that's how we adjust the needle, the lever for the needle. Okay, thank you.